so welcome to different types of flats. So I recently did a video on different types of point shoes and you all seem to really enjoy it. So today it's going to be all about flats. All right, so let's start off with the first pair that I'm just gonna get out of the way because I feel like they're not really classified as a ballet shoe. But I wanted to let you know that when I was younger, I used to do contemporary. I used to do a lot of improvisations at one of my home gyms. These are the Hanami Pirouette shoes that are a newer Capizia release. But I used to wear, wear, back in the day, I used to wear the block ones, which were great. But these are also just as good. They're great. Canvas, they fit nicely um, around the feet. So yeah, I thought I'd mention that because I really enjoyed using these when I was younger. So the next pair of shoes I have here are the Capizio Juliet's in canvas. This was my first shoe that I used for stage that I felt really good dancing in. Before that, I used like full sole ones. When I discovered these, I was so excited. These were my go-to pair for stage, purely because of the split sole that made your feet look amazing. And also the um, leather was really good on stage too. It wasn't canvas. It didn't look unprofessional. These for a long time were my favorite pair of shoes, even at ballet class as well. I loved how it just fit the foot like a glove and also how soft and comfortable it was. It has this beautiful material inside. But the shoes that I wear now, I'm gonna fast forward to all the way to now that I still use. These are the Hanamis that I wear in class every day. And these are definitely a newer shoe, but these are my new favorite ones. I love these Capizia ones. They're also a split sole. They're very similar to the Capizio Juliet's, but of course they are canvas, so they make it better for dancing in a studio. And yeah, these are of course comfortable as well. They fit the feet really well. These are my number one favorites. I recommend these to anybody doing anything. But back to other ones I tried. Um, for a brief period, it was like not very long. These were the new full sole ones that came out. I obviously was a little bit older and I was past wearing the full sole. These for me are perfect for any young beginner wanting to really improve their feet and make them strong for ballet. Great for um, kids who are beginning in ballet. They are also a leather as well, so it's it's great for durability, and it's also just a sturdy shoe, so this will last you a long time. Also, what I like about the Capizio flats is they come with them pre-sewn on, which is super handy for me because I hate sewing, so I love that aspect. And also the uh, full sole ones come with one as well, which is very handy. And drawstrings, everything super handy. So these ones here, I also wanted to mention that the Hanamis, my favorite shoes, come in other colors as well. I like to use for the contemporary classes if I've got no tights on. They're just great to have if you want a different colored shoe. Those were all the Capizia ones. Basically, I love Capizia flats so much. Now let's go on to the other styles that I've also tried. These next ones are block. As I'm now with Queensland Ballet, I have to wear block flats on stage. So I had to choose between two. It was between the pumps and also the pro elastic. So I preferred these because they were more similar to the Capizio ones. My only problem with these is that whenever I point my toe, they seem to bunch up at the bottom and it just didn't hug my feet as nicely as the Capizio ones. I do like the color selection you can get in these. They come in a variety of colors, black, white, nude, pink. Also another downfall, I had to sew these ribbons on, which is, you know, not a big thing, but you know, it's, nice to have them pre-sewn. But there is a new style called the Performer, which I'd love to try. I heard they're very similar to the Capizio ones. So if you would like some block shoes like the Capizio, definitely try the Performer ones out. Now the next shoe is a shoe that I don't have here today. But when I was back in the day doing ballet class, I tried a pair of shoes called the MNDs. They have this pink inner sole that is supposed to support your foot and keep it aligned when you are dancing. Now I did really enjoy these. These were canvas shoes. They were very similar to Hanami's. I did actually quite enjoy wearing them. It also helped with your plie too because there was a little, like a little elevated part of the back. So whenever you did a plie, 
you would be super deep. The reason why I stopped wearing them also was because it just didn't really allow my foot to be free in the shoe. It kind of just felt like something at the back of my foot whenever I was dancing. The color was great and I did actually feel the support when I danced as well. So those are a good recommendation too. Now onto the last pair I have here. These again aren't really flat so to speak. But these are demi points and these ones are the block ones. These were my favorite out of the two choices I was going to choose back in the day for my exams. It was between the Capizio ones and these. Fit my feet better and the Capizio ones seemed to slip off my heels, which I didn't really enjoy. But they did look quite nice on my feet. But these ones took the cake. <laughs> they were really easy to break in with demi points. It's so important for exams to basically like bend it in half. That was how I used to wear these for exams. But at my old dance studio, I had to wear these for every single time at normal class. It helped um, strengthen my feet. And when I put the pointies on, it didn't feel as bad. But I mean, no one likes wearing demi points. They're not the best thing to wear, <laughs> but they are good to strengthen it. And I do suggest wearing them if you do want to strengthen them. So if I had to choose one pair out of all of these, it would definitely be the Capizio Hanamis. I wear these all the time at ballet every single day. This would be my pair for you to buy. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed my experience on all these flats. Make sure you comment below what you like to wear and which ones you've tried out of all of these. And I guess I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.